In this video, I'm going to show you another project that I've been tinkering with lately. I've been pretty busy with life lately, so this project isn't finished. But I wanted to introduce it to you now that it's mostly working, and then make improvements and perfect it in a future video. I've been crypto mining for a few years very casually. Just something fun to do with old video cards that I'm not using anymore. But as you can probably imagine, I always daydreamed about mining off of the solar power that I already have which would drive up the profits even higher. My electricity's pretty cheap at about 10 cents per kilowatt hour, but if I already have solar panels on standby, why not use them? So this project is to show what it would take to power a small Ethereum mining rig off of solar power. Now before I begin, let me tell you what this video is not. This is not a video to try to convince anyone that buying a solar panel system and crypto mining equipment will be profitable. Solar is a very long-term investment, and crypto is a very volatile market with wild swings in the value of different coins. There are also hundreds of different ways you could set up a solar panel system with different components and different levels of DIY skill. So please just take this as an interesting dive into one possibility of mining on solar. Having said that, in order to be profitable mining Ethereum on solar power, you need to be very efficient. In my case, I already have the solar panel system, but it isn't sized properly for this type of load. So I need to be efficient, and that means I need to avoid using an inverter. I can't afford to lose 20% of my power converting to AC, and then even more power converting back to DC, since computers run on DC. And my solar panel system in my solar shed is 24 volts, so I'll need to find a way to power my mining rig with 24 volt DC directly. Enter a company called PowerStream. They have several models of ATX computer power supplies that run directly off of various voltages of DC. The owner, Mark, was kind enough to send me a 500 watt model for this project. They also have some other really cool and hard to find components for various projects like car computers, battery pack building, and power conversion. To make things a little bit easier, and because I didn't have a computer case laying around, I got an open air test bench case. During this project, I've been connecting and disconnecting components and cables quite a bit, so it's been a lot nicer to have easy access to them. I used old PC parts that I had laying around for the rest of the project, except the GPU, which is a Radeon RX 5700 XT that I pulled from my gaming computer. With everything assembled and working, I took the rig out to the solar shed. Obviously, with a large solar panel system, you could easily power this device around the clock but doing it with a small system is more challenging. You have to know exactly how much power you will be consuming, and basing calculations off of manufacturer specifications and estimates will get you in trouble fast. So I wanted to run the mining rig off of my system until it shut down so I could easily assess where the weaknesses and shortfalls are. So I fired it up and started mining and let it run all day and into the night. Yes, the power supply is a little bit loud. So at the halfway point here, what have we learned? Well, there are some products out there that make this type of project easier and more efficient. We also know from previous solar experience that it takes a lot of solar panels and batteries to pull off running a load around the clock. And we know that any improvements in efficiency that we can make will increase profitability and the reliability of the system. All right, so what do I need to do before I consider this complete and make another video? The rig made it until about 6 a.m. before it depleted the battery, so I clearly need to add more solar panels and batteries to the equation. I also need to accurately measure the real-world consumption of the rig over time, and that will allow me to calculate my profitability and see if it was all worth it. So stay tuned later this year, and a follow-up video on this project will drop. Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in this project, leave a thumbs up and a comment below.